Hey guys, what's up? A Hackman 2 here with another Reflex Custom Track Review. Today I'm bringing you Under the Lights SX. Uh, I know that KTM6060 made this. I know that's his name on Steam. I forgot his name on Reflex Central. And I'm uh, reviewing this track because I was asked to by the track creator. So this is his first track. And the first thing I want to say is uh, look at the haze around there on the stands and that monkey. Um, I'll put a screenshot up on the screen right now at Digital Earthworks on how to fix that. It's about changing the max distance and stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look at the track. Got a triple into the corner. And quad double. Oh, you can actually quad double that, but I settled for the triple little triple. A few ruts and an outside. A little dip before this wall. Jump up over the table and all the way into the corner. Rail that. Oh my gosh, you got too much pop off from that for sure. So you got an off camber corner, you launch down into the sand section. A really wide corner here. Rail this, get up over that. Nice triple. Really big rut right there. He grabs you, and this is a little wonky of a section. You go all the way out here, and it, it's kind of a weird shaped corner. Go over that more in the future, and then here's the finish line. You just want to try to get to this rut. Kind of pops in and out. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the track a little bit. You can see this berm, how it just kind of pops out of the ground. You want it to more flow into the ground. It probably berm probably shouldn't end till right around here. Um, so it just flows better and uh, that's that's one thing that you'll learn and get better with as you go along track making all the most of the berms are like that uh, they kind of just pop up um, which it is his first track so uh, the jump faces and everything I think that's pretty well done I think he did a good job with the jump faces how they all look and everything go ahead and get up on and off here I like his rhythm sections. The sections are pretty cool. But as you can see, this off camber right here just completely pops out of the ground. Um, it's kind of like a wall. So that's something that you can try to blend in. And you can do a lot of messing around with the eraser and stuff. And I had to do a lot of time with that when I was making tracks. And this, bur this rut is way too tall. And you can also see it kind of pops like straight out of the ground so you kind of want to stretch that out and make it flow better and it's just way too tall it's way too overpowered compared to the outside and then this section it just gets so skinny through here you can see how you have to basically go outside and then come back over for this this section is just wonky and then this corner also is just wonky i mean why do you go out all here nice flowing corner would come like this um so yeah, those are my main complaints on the track. It is his first track, so I'm sure he'll learn how to do that. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and put in a decent lap now. For first track, it's definitely good. Uh, my first track was not this good. <laughs> mainly because I had to quit making it and didn't get to finish it, but it's still definitely pretty good. Um, objects wise, he did a great job around the track, but then you look out there and it's just empty. Uh, I think he probably should have put a stadium around this one. Would have made more sense. Although he has a he has a nice nighttime feel to it. Oh gosh. <laughs> and he does say under the lights, so I don't know. Oh come on. I don't really know if he was going for this outdoor feel to it or not. Launch this. Scrub that. This corner is just way too far out and that inside line is just way too overpowering. This does get you a good line through the whoops though, squares you up real nice and get right on top. It is a pretty fun track though, you can get a nice flow going with it. Oh, as I go over the track. I think this, we'll do this as our first person lap because I want to try to turn a fast lap or a last lap. That's kind of what I've been doing lately in these races is try and do a fast lap. Oh, going off track. 
So splines don't appear to be the best. You can see I just completely cut a corner there and didn't get any penalty for it. So splines just need to be a little bit tighter. Which is a big problem with a lot of the new track creators. You can see I didn't even mark me off track till I was a ways off the track. So you get better with splines with experience for sure. Alright, so let's go ahead and go back into third person here and see what we can do for a lap time. That rug definitely gets deep though. Only gonna be able to triple triple. These ruts grab you pretty nice, but again they kinda pop right out of the ground and there goes our fast lap. So oh and the re it reset me all the way at the end of the track. So that's another thing with splines is you need to put a lot of nodes into it. There we go, that kind of worked out for us. Right up over that table. Grab that crazy <laughs> inside rut there. Yeah, fast lap times are probably going to be around 55. Definitely under a minute, easily. You can see I had a crash in that lap and still got a 59. So thanks for watching the review, guys. Uh, a little bit of work to be done on this track, but good for a first track. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did, and I will talk to you guys next time.